everybody what is going on it's me the elite ace we are live action you already know what it is here to bring you yet another bleach related video obviously this isn't a review you've seen the title in the thumbnail this is a bleach merch unboxing pickup type video i haven't done one of these in quite some time especially a bleach related one i believe to my knowledge um it was what was one of the funkos or a bleach zapato i still plan on buying some more zapatos and doing the unboxings like i did in the old days so yeah i'm gonna start off showing the little normal stuff to the medium okay stuff on to the main main stuff i think the one figure you all really want to see that's in the thumbnail so let's get this started okay so starting out with the bleach key change right here we have biakia kuchki and we have right here ichigo kurosaki now yes this part right here I believe this is from when he fought Ichigo on Sokyoku Hill and right here we have Ichigo in the, bu in the tattered bunkai and then we have Hollow Ichigo is double sided and on this side bam we have that stern dead eye look that Byakuya always gives I, I love it so these are pretty cool now yes these are key chains but they're universal you don't necessarily have to just put them on your keys you can put them on a bag luggage suitcase me i put one of them on my jacket it's actually both of them not both at the same time but you know just one of each and i went to yomakon and i had these on my bag you know just to add to the flair just to have it on my bag and also the person gave stickers right here we have yakua we have ichigo and then of course we have rukia now with these stickers, I'm gonna keep Byakuya and I'm gonna keep Ichigo, obviously. I'm gonna give uh, Rukia to Artemis Unknown, the YouTuber I mentioned before, because we all know how I feel about Rukia. I know she's very popular, but me, I, I just, I'm just not a fan of Rukia like that. Anyway, on to the next thing. So this whole time you were looking at it, but obviously you didn't notice it, I get it. It's probably with the glare, it's probably kind of small, but right here, the Grim Jowl pendant right here. This right here is of course, the jaw of Grim Jaw. I had to get the pendant and put it on this. Now this doesn't come off of here, but I think it's pretty cool. I'm like, whatever, I'll just keep it on here. So it has a good look how it goes with this because this pendant is actually behind the jaw of Grim Jaw. So one of the things I do like about it is that it's just the jaw. Now I've seen other ones where there is a six, shout out to Kendall. There is the six with the actual jaw piece on the six but you know grim Jai, he's stronger than what he was when he had the six and i don't know let me know down below does he still have the six tattooed on him i don't know if that was asked or answered in club inside or if that's in a data book or something i don't know for all you grim job fans like me <laughs> right here let me know down below if he has the six still tattooed on him now right here we have one of the latest Funkos, Kenpachi Jiraki, yes, number 1,699. And normally, yes, I do not take the Funkos out of the box. You know, if I feel they're gonna be worth something, I just normally keep them in a box. I don't take them out at all, but I don't know why this particular wave and the one before that, I don't think they're probably gonna be worth a lot. Like for example, the last wave that came out, I believe it was Chad, Udahara, Yodorichi, um, and I think Ukliura. I don't know, I could be wrong. I'm looking at my backdrop right now. But yeah, so but for this video, yes, I will take them out to Boston for y'all to get a closer look. Up next, we have Sosuke Aizen, of course, Undercover Aizen, Soul Society Arc Aizen. Now, this is the classic Aizen that fooled everyone, of course, including me. And I seen a recent post on Facebook saying how even the voice actor was fooled. Like he didn't know Aizen was going to be a villain or he didn't know he was a villain the whole time. But uh, yeah, Aizen, he is one of my favorite anime villains. I mean, who can go wrong with Aizen? But yeah, here he is in all his glory, number 1697. Let's give it a closer look.
right here we have none other than as it says on the box white ichigo but we all know him as zangetsu or hollow ichigo and i remember when shikai version of this funko came out it was only at gamestop exclusively on gamestop you would see the sticker this says triple a anime exclusive right there so back then you know i was like man i don't care about those things yeah whatever whatever they're not gonna be worth anything there are some funkos out there that are worth a lot and i'm like damn and i've came across so many either in person or online and there are a lot of deep fakes out there now obviously this part of this unboxing is for the funko collectors especially of bleach obviously so i'm pretty sure you're well aware of how um rare the shikai version of how ichigo is and there are a lot of deep fakes so there are some good videos out there letting you know how to catch the fakes i mean from the fonts to the positioning of the barcode everything the color it's just just so many things because i've been on ebay quite a few times and i will see some of the hollow ichigos the shikai ones going for some too good to be true prices and they say it's coming from china or somewhere just i'm like i don't know mm -hmm. like 12 dollars i not i just i know for a fact that's not the real deal holy field at all so i'm like well i missed out on that uh so hopefully he will go up in price just like she got ichigo uh hollow ichigo but whatever so this is number 1739 pretty cool I really do hope you can pick him on the uh, Bleach Rebirth of Souls game. But yeah, let's get a closer look. Okay, now this Bleach Funko is fresh in the mail. So, uh, I know you're all wondering which one is it. God dang. Grab, they got it secure, but... You know, let, let me be careful, because... That'd be just my damn luck. Okay. It's secure. Bam, alright. Let's test this. Alright. You already know. Ah, it's right here, see? I'll stay with it. I'm telling you, all my OG fans... Y'all know what time it is with the shuriken. All right. Ooh. You all should know which Funko this is. Some of you know some of my favorite characters. This is the one, the only. Bam! My boy Biaki Akuski right here in the flesh. Number 1,698. Look at that motivator right there. Smooth, my groove. Now, of course, with Biakua, look at him, he got the <laughs> doing a scatter right there, the Zimbon Zakra. <laughs> but um <clears throat> Damn, excuse me. So yeah. I noticed with a lot of the Bleach Funkos that's been coming out, it's still from the beginning of the series, leading all the way up to the end of the Arancar arc. I guess they just want to hurry up and rush it out. But I think honestly they should have bended that and then just start putting out the Funkos regarding the whole thousand year blower arc, but I know they're probably gonna bring out some of the full bring arc, maybe Genjo, Tsukushima, some of the other full bringers. That'd be cool, or um, full bring Ichigo, you know, the Power Ranger Ichigo, or maybe that version of uh, Bunkai, you know, the one when he got all his powers back. So, yeah, other than that, yeah, let's definitely get a close up on my boy Biakua.
course, last but certainly not least, yes, I have to say the best for last in terms of the Funkos, Dungai Ichigo, which is funny. It just says Ichigo Kurosaki, which is all right, whatever. And I have other Ichigos up there where it just it says just different things regarding, but it's funny. Yeah, right here, another one from AAA Anime Exclusive, right here. My boy Ichigo, Dun, Ichigo Dungai, Dungai Ichigo, and all his live action. And right here we have number 1729 so we're definitely going to get a closer look on him but real quick a debate that will never die which is crazy how people say this was this is the strongest form of ichigo no okay so for all of you anime only watchers you're on you're on manga readers we we know what's up but then again there's still some manga readers who still debate it this is one of the strongest forms of ichigo desire wise i would say this is his favorite I do wonder though, how would Dungai Ichigo look in his Shikai? I do wonder that because he just went straight Bunkai when he came out of the uh, Dunkai Prespice world. But whatever, enough of the chit chat because that whole debate can just had this video going left, going down a whole rabbit hole. So let me know down below who do you think, which form do you think is stronger? True Shikai Ichigo slash Horn of Salvation or right here, bam, Dungai Ichigo. So yeah, let's just get a closer look. Ooh, okay, yes, here we go with the bread and butter of this unboxing. Yes, I know you, this is what you all really want to see, and it's fine. I get it. Yes, <laughs> Renji unboxing of the Thousand Year Blood War art right here. This is from, of course, right here, Figure Arts Zero. Let's get this open like so. Hope they damage anything, but let's open this up. Ooh, as soon as you open it up, it says right there, Bleach, oh yeah, Bleach right there, alright, so, damn man, you would think it'd have some type of hand with it, I guess I gotta do it old school, no, oh, I don't wanna do that, no, no, just carefully tear the box, okay, almost there, I see a red ponytail. Okay, there we go. Oh, here we go. You know what? You all get the first look. Well, I'll be able to see it too in the mirror. But uh, yeah, see, this is what I was seeing right here. Yes, sir. Ah, there we go. My boy, Brent. Let's. Right, right here, look at that. Ren G. Alvarai, the Blood Warfare, right there. Ooh, look at that, my boy. Ren you know what? This is an honor of Ren the fight he put up, man. He put up a good damn fight, man. Like I said in my review, hey, hey, Uryu say so constantly he wasn't even trying to kill him. That's what Uryu told him. So, uh, yeah, let's definitely get a closer look at this. Man, this is smooth as hell right here. As you can see right here, Renji on the front, Bandai Namco. From my point of view, it's mirrored, but I'm gonna switch it, you know. Oh man, look at this. That's the spine, the side, the back. Ooh, right there, Roar Zabi Maru. This is cool as hell. I cannot wait to put him on the shelf, man. You all will see him in a lot of videos. And a lot of my bleach videos moving forward it seems like i gotta piece him together which is perfectly fine oh yeah again bleach right here let's open this up. oh See, I want to keep this box, man. This is a good box, so 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm yeah, hold on. Actually, wait a minute now. I see it got damn so. Strike something with this motivator. Yep, we actually got some instructions. That's cool. So I'm gonna hold on to this box. Like so. So let's go ahead and assemble this. All right, elite. Wish me luck. More tape. Ooh, that wrench right here. Look at that. Boy, looking smooth right there. Roar. Motherfucking zombie Maru. All right, now let's assemble this right here. Now there he is, he leads in all of his glory. Now I don't have a turntable big enough to hold him, so I'm gonna go in and get a couple close-up shots for you guys. And there you have it, Elites. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was nothing too spectacular like a Zompak tour or something, but I'll get to that in some future videos. But yeah, just thought I'd add these to my collection. Um, yeah, sometimes, never say never, you know, like I said, sometimes, um, because there was a time, like I said, I didn't care about these. I remember when I had bought Grimjaw for the first time, and one of my boys, he was like, wait, what? You bought a Funko Pop? Like this, this wants to be a parallel universe or something, because obviously, yes, I prefer these type of figures, over the fun golf, obviously, y'all. Um, this one, this Ichigo right here, my cousin got for me, and I was gonna open him up until I looked up how much he was selling for, you know, a little bit close to, I think, 300 or a little bit like 280, whatnot. So I just decided just to leave him in the box. Hopefully, he won't go up in price. I'm thinking, like, damn, I just opened him up and everything. So, you know, sometimes when you crack that seal, the value goes down, especially when you take it out and assemble it. But whatever it is, what it is. So, Hopefully one of these bad boys to go for something good. Uh, I just collected just the, the the Bleach fan and, you know, something I thought had to go good for the backdrop because if you notice, most of my videos that's not Bleach related, you don't see any Funkos in my backdrop at all. So once this season of Bleach is over with, these just sit in my closet, you know, hopefully the value go up or whatnot. You may, like I said, you may see one or two. You may see Ichigo or my boy Grimjaw. I, I should keep him super secure because, like I said, he's... Excuse me, I set up for a little bit over 300, close to a little over 200 or whatnot. It, it fluctuates, you know. So, yeah, um, I'm very pleased with this, the quality and whatnot. I did, don't let this deter you, I just, bad luck on my end. I did have to super glue this part right here, you know. And, of course, nothing beats Gorilla Super Glue. So, yeah, other than that, stable, sturdy. I like it, good detail, good quality, I like the face. Shout out again to my boy Rich, my favorite lieutenant, he did the damn thing. And like I said, again, I'm gonna keep saying it, he only lost due to plot. So all the Rinji haters saying, oh, he's like the Vegeta of Bleach, he always get, gets his ass kicked, he loses, he loses, all that training for nothing, it was a waste. No, 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 come on now. So, Rinji, he did the damn thing, you're alright with me. So, already on pre-order. Next year, I think February, I will have a, uh, a Byakuya figure coming in. I believe he's doing the uh, Shikai. I mean, like I said, the Funkos, they're cool, all right, and whatnot, but I'd rather have, you know, these. I don't have a Renji, the Bunkai version of Renji, the old Bunkai. He's, 
he's kind of up there. I think he's only going for like 150. I, I would never pay. Well, for a matter of fact, Grim John only paid what, what $12 for him, 22 bucks. Now he's you know worth more. But I'm not gonna just be like, oh well, I have a Biyaki with a Funko, so no need to get the figure. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, yeah, the figures is where it's at. But again, if you can't afford the figures or if you like these more, hey, that's fine. I get it, man. It's tough out here for motivators. So, other than that, give me your thoughts, comments, and concerns. Oh, before I go, um, got this off of Amazon. All of these I got off of Amazon except the AAA exclusive. You can go to AAA Anime Exclusive Actually.com. Now, this is sponsored, by the way. Or you can go to the main Funko website and look these up. But I actually seen him in GameStop, Kimpachi. I didn't get them from GameStop, but I seen them in GameStop. There's another version of it with Yachiru. I may actually get that one as well. Um, and the keychains I got off of Etsy. You know, I left a good review on there. You know, shout out to them. So, yeah, I just shopped around for some cool Bleach stuff. And, uh, yeah, I did pick up some Bleach stuff when I went to my trip to Japan. You will see that in my aftermath video of Japan because after part three, if three is out, I will put out a video talking about my experiences were the rumors true that I get treated like this? How is it actually in Japan outside of the vlog? So stay tuned for that. But other than that, thank you all for watching. I will do my best to put out some more Bleach merchandise videos as time goes on. So uh, yeah, give me your thoughts, comments, and concerns. Are you going to pick up any of these? Do you not care for them? Are you going to get some figures? It's me, the Lead Ace. Again, thanks for watching. Signing out.